this is how the intro goes. Play slowly first. Alright, so what I'm doing the first section, uh, play on the 7th fret on the A string and then uh, mute twice on the E string. And then uh, D5, uh, D5 and then open E string twice. And then 7th fret on the D, mute twice on the low E. D9, mute twice on the low E. D7 again, uh, mute twice on the low E. Uh, and the next part, and then 5th fret on the uh, D string, and then mute once on the E string. So far we have this. Okay, next one. 2nd uh, fret on the D string, twice on the low E, uh, D5, twice on the low E, D7, once on the low E, and then play the power chord at the 7th uh, fret position, the E power chord. So basically uh, play uh, A7 and D5 together one time, and the low E twice. And the E power chord again one time, low E twice, and ends on the uh, F power chord, which is A8 and D10 together. So the second measure goes like this. So the two measures together, it sounds like this slowly. Faster sounds like this. Okay. Next one, similar to what we exactly what we just did, the first measure, which is after you play that, the next measure is different. It goes like this. Okay, uh, this is all power chord shape. So we'll do like a D power chord at the fifth position. You play the D7 and then you palm mute on the uh, A string on the fifth fret twice. And then use index finger while you're barring down. You play the fifth fret on the D string and then palm mute on the A string fifth fret again twice. Okay, and then you move down to a B power chord which is second position, you play the 4th fret on the D string one time, 2nd fret on the A string once, palm mute, and then you lift up the finger, you play, you bar your uh, index finger down on the 2nd fret, and you play the 2nd uh, fret on the D string one time, palm mute on the 2nd uh, fret on the A string twice, uh, and then 4th fret on the D, uh, and then 2nd fret on the A string twice and then 5th fret on the D string once and 2nd fret on the A string once so that one measure goes like this one more time slowly Fast, that sounds like this. Okay. 
So now we have four measure. So now let's play the whole thing again slowly from the top four, all four measure. It goes like this. I'm sorry, it's all over. And after that, you play the whole thing again, repeat the whole thing slowly. Uh, I'll repeat the whole thing just like I show you. Until the very last part, uh, where we do this, the D chord. The second time you play that, you'll play this right here. Uh, it's a little slightly different variation. So you just do that power chord at the end. So it goes... Right there, it's all the same, and they play power chord, the second fret of the uh, B power chord, C power chord at the third position, and D power chord at the fifth position. So basically, it's A2, D4, and then A3, D5, A5, and D7, you got D, C, D, okay? Uh, so that's eight measure together, that's the intro. Okay, the next riff goes like this. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing is I play, it's all sliding, power chord, uh, so the, the basically is you slide from 5th fret on the power chord, it's the same power chord shape I showed you before, uh, you slide up to 7th fret, so it goes, and then open E string, and then slide from 8th uh, power chord, 8th fret, which is a E power chord, I'm sorry, F power chord, and down to E, 7th fret. And then open E string again. So you do that twice. Now after you finish playing that the second part, uh, where you go from F to slide slide down to E power chord, that eighth fret to seventh fret, and you will uh, palm mute E string five times. Goes so it goes like. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now the next part, the second time you play that, at the very end, you play the open E string, and then you play this uh, G power chord, third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A string. And you pull off from the third fret on the E string, pull off to open. So Okay. Okay, so the whole thing together slowly goes like this. You just keep repeat that one more time. You stop right there. The next part you play this little arpeggio. Little. All right. So there's a lot of stuff going on. It's all palm mute. Basically, you play a C major triad, which is uh. So you again, it's, everything's palm mute. So you play uh, A three, D two, and open G string. And then you play uh, pinky, ring finger, and index finger. You play uh, A5, D4, G2. So, so far with this. And then you move down. You play the low E string. You play a G major triad. You play uh, G, uh, E3, D, A2, and open D string. And then you play the A major triad, E5, A4, D2, and then you play this uh, uh, palm mute uh, chromatic, you go 3, 2, 1, 0 on the low E string. Okay, so...
play Wheel of Fantasy sounds really cool. Alright, so uh, so that's that part right there. So if you play the whole thing slowly, we have this. Repeat the whole thing again. So that part right there, uh, uh, so we play uh, D2, A2, open E string, uh, and then uh, D4, A5, open E, and then D5, A7, open E string, eight time. So slowly. All right. And the next part is a little change. You play a uh, D2, A3 this time instead of A2. So it's D2, A3, open E. And then uh, D4, A5, open E. And then uh, D5, A7, open E. And just only one time, and then you play this E power chord, the seventh position, A string. So you play the uh, uh, seventh fret, A, D9 together twice, open E, and then uh, D power chord, which is A5 and D7 one time, open E, and then back to E power chord, uh, A7 and D9. So. So the whole thing goes like this, slowly again. Repeat the whole thing again. Now the last time you play this, you play it twice on the E chord. So. Now, after you play it twice on the E chord, you you play this part right here. So it goes right into it. So it goes like this. Play last time again slowly. You see how it goes? You play the E chord twice and you play it again one more time. That's when you start the pattern. So it goes like And then it's, it's start the pattern again right here. What I'm doing is I play the E power chord, palm mute twice on the low E. E power chord, palm mute twice on the low E. E power chord, palm mute on the low E one time. That's the pattern. You repeat that whole thing whole, just, uh, several times. So. And then you play the uh, fifth, uh, D power chord at the fifth position. And now play this chord. It's like an E power chord with the seventh fret on the bottom low E. So basically, I'm playing low E seven, A seven, and uh, I'll use my pinky playing ninth fret on the D string. So.
next part is a D power chord. It's the second fret position. And then you play the D sharp power chord in the sixth position. Alright, so uh, so that's pretty much the whole song. So let me do the very last part for you again so, so you can see the transition. See how it goes? So if you play it fast, it sounds like this. Okay. Uh, so that's the uh, rhythm for pretty much the whole song. Uh, and all the parts repeat themselves. Um, so hope you enjoy it. It's a really fun song to play. Very technical as far as rhythm goes, I think. Uh, uh, it was a great learning tool. So thanks for watching.